Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick video to let you know about a small yet I think a significant change that Google has now started rolling out regarding Google Tasks. Now, if you are tied into the Google ecosystem and do use Gmail as an example, you will know that online on desktop, Google Tasks up until recently has only been made available as a sidebar app as part of the workspace productivity tools. So in the sidebar, it's listed along with calendar, keep, contacts, and then we get Google Tasks, which just give you quick access as a product productivity suite using Workspace and the Workspace apps. Now, just to let you know that finally, and I really mean this finally, if you visit this website now and you are using Google Tasks, assistant.google.com forward slash tasks, you can now finally access your tasks and task lists in a standalone format. And obviously this, this means now that we can now manage them in the same way as uh, we did on our other platforms, as an example, our Android phones. So tasks now finally has been made av available as a standalone format and a standalone app. And the functionality um, is very similar to what we get for Google Tasks, um, as an example, on your phone or in the sidebar. We can still, um, you know, just show our different lists, start reminders, and then we can create a new list. And then to the right-hand side, uh, you can sort those lists by my order date starred recently you can rename the list you got all these other options and so on so very similar to the sidebar functionality but now is its own standalone um, format and also its own standalone app which i think has been a long time coming now um if you are using google chrome um, for desktop if you want to make this a web app a pwa a progressive web app it's actually quite simple to do so if you want to um make tasks its own standalone app that can be used natively um, like a native app on your uh, Windows 10 or Windows 11 device, it's quite simple to do. So we just head up to our main menu. Obviously, you need your tasks um, web page open. Head over to More Tools. Click on Create Shortcut. And there we go. Google Tasks. You can rename it to any name, obviously. Click on Open as Window. Create. And there we go. Uh, Google Tasks now can also act as its own standalone web app, which I actually think is a very nice move in the right direction. And you can also pin that to your taskbar if you want to. So for easy access and reference, you can just come back as an example, pin to your taskbar. And there we go. Google Tasks now in its own standalone format and its own standalone app. And as I did mention previously, I'm not exactly sure when this change took place. But nonetheless, you may have noticed May have not, just putting it out there that if you are tied into the Google ecosystem, Google Tasks now has moved away from just being a standalone um, sidebar app to its own standalone web page. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.